As the skies darkened during the solar eclipse, law enforcement agencies across America were on the alert for a terror attack on any of the thousands of mass gatherings along the path of totality. In the wake of that deadly attack by ISIS-K on a concert venue in Moscow, FBI and Homeland Security issued a bulletin to local authorities warning that the terrorists shared graphic and violent attack footage calling for similar attacks in the United States. Places like here in Times Square where it's open, where the mass number of people you know, coming to, to gather, look at the eclipse, certainly creates an exposure and is a risk area. But not even the terror threats could damper eclipse enthusiasm. This was the scene at B&H Photo in New York, where there was a last minute scramble for safe eyewear and camera filters. So that's going to be a great picture. The eclipse see. presented special challenges to the tens of millions trying to capture their own images. I've been telling people, you know, it's really simple. You have a solar filter special for your phone, you put it over the camera, and then you can safely capture the sun. So you're yeah. watching the eclipse on your phone, you're not staring at it. Right, exactly. You are my sun, my moon. Thousands of couples tied the knot moments before totality, then turned to admire the eclipse at the start of their lives together. I'm a Leo, which is ruled by the sun. My husband um, is a Cancer ruled by the moon, and so we just thought it would be so cool to celebrate our marriage on a day where the moon and sun come together. Our wedding has a few moments to shine, and then the eclipse has its own moment where everybody can give their attention to that spectacle. Millions of pet owners also took special precautions. Many heeded this tip from veterinarian Dr. Jeff Werber. You might want to leave at home, maybe in a nice quiet room, maybe with the TV on, some music going, and just just let them relax. After the eclipse was over and daylight returned, it was time to think about the long journey back home. Be prepared for delays. So have food, have snacks, have medications, have a charged cell phone and a, a portable charger. Make sure you got gas in your vehicle or it's charged up if you're in an EV because everyone's leaving at the same time. 